right. All right, there, people, let's get this door open. All right, so today what we're messing with, gotta move this car out of the way and gotta get that hooked up to the truck and I'm gonna be hooking up that salt spreader so uh, I can be ready to go for snow. I'm gonna go ahead and move these things out of the way. I'm not gonna put that on video, but uh, hopefully this is gonna be an interesting video. I've been doing some leaf cleanups. You may be interested in checking out some of my latest videos. I posted one yesterday. I was on a 24 acre property. Uh, spent about seven or eight hours uh, cleaning up leaves, but this one's about snow. So uh, I just wanna make sure that I'm ready to go for when it starts snowing. I'll uh, pause this video for now and then we'll transition to uh, me hooking up the snow plow to that truck. I haven't done this since, uh, well, last winter. So uh, I wanna make sure I wanna go through everything, uh, make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. Y'all stay cool, stay there, stick around, bye. Uh, I'm gonna bring the truck in and get it connected. It's been a year. Let's see if I got, no, see I was off. I was off by half a foot. That's okay, we're gonna get it. Real time, live action. Found it. YouTube I know you're rocking and rolling all right I'm lined up I just need to come forward a bit all right let's see what we got all right looks like I am lined up good very nice more I'm just gonna pull it there we go so now let me show you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up and these arms on each side are gonna latch onto these I don't know what you call them and it's gonna pull the uh, snow plow into the receiver and made it nicely so here's what that looks like it let's get these harnesses connected I'll be adding some dielectric grease throughout the season to these electrical connections just to help keep a good connection and reduce corrosion all right well let's take this off of here so YouTube can quit m getting jumped around there let's put it on the other trailer I'm gonna adjust this let's add some power I've got the joystick here so this is what I'm using I'm gonna plug this in inside the cab and then I've got your uh, standard Western snowplow um, handheld controller. 
These things aren't cheap either. I haven't had to buy a second one, but I don't know what they retail for. 450 bucks. Let's get power to this thing. stand up. I've got power connected. My night hot lights are on. These are just the running lights. Um, during the uh, during the night time, uh, these lights would be even brighter and I can switch to high beams. So it looks like we're a go at this station. I'm going to have to get that salt spreader on. Let's uh, Let's mess with this controller. So here we go. Left. Right. My clearance is good up front. Down. Float. Raise. Halfway down. Up. Looks like we're doing real good. Very nice. Power off. Let's go high beams. So these Nighthawks are super bright at nighttime, and uh, my truck lights don't come on uh, any more than that uh, because they would be shining on the plow and probably blinding me. But these Nighthawk lights are pretty darn bright. I'll show some videos of that later on in the season. They've got some. Uh, heated elements on this plastic housing that help to uh, melt any ice or snow that might be collecting on the snow plow uh, Nighthawk lights itself. Hey, we're gonna transition into me setting up the salt spreader. Now's a good time to hit that like button. Um, what we're trying to, what I'm trying to do is just show uh, what I do in my business. And I know that sometimes people are out there looking looking for ways to improve their business or they're not exactly sure, they forgot how to hook up their snow plow, uh, they don't know how the handheld controller works or what it looks like, so, uh, you know, that's an excellent reason for me to make videos like this. And, uh, and I love the interaction, so y'all stay tuned, we're gonna get that salt spreader on. All right, let's get the salt spreader on. So that's close enough for now. I still have to jack this thing up, get that receiver or that uh, whatever we're gonna call it into the uh, uh, trailer hitch receiver. And uh, hopefully I can do this on my own without making a fool of myself on YouTube. Uh, not today anyway, I mean, I, 
I don't mind anything, anything for a good laugh, right? All right. Um, and my pin, you know, see, this is why I'm doing this in advance. I don't know where my pin is that I use to lock that in. I'll use the one that I've got with the, uh, uh, that I use for the trailer ball. Uh, all right. So anyways, I've got this. Let's see what I've got going on. So I've got my floor jack here and I've just used a, uh, some, um, a pile of wood and I've got a chalk block down there just to stabilize this thing so it's not going to fall off while I'm maneuvering the truck. Well, <clears throat> now I got to crank this sucker up so it'll mate up with uh, with the truck and I'll lock it in. Um, oh, there's my there's my pin right there. So I set myself up for success by zip tying it to here um, last winter when I took this off. So. Another, uh, I guess, pro tip. It does help if you remember, but uh, I try to keep things together so when I need to go and use it next time, uh, I've got it with me. Let's move YouTube around. Sorry if y'all are getting dizzy. This would be a lot easier with the second person, but uh, I'm solo today, and I have put this on by myself. Um, don't try to do this with salt in your spreader. Can you, can you just imagine an extra 400 pounds on this thing and you trying to maneuver this by yourself? What a nightmare that would be. So this is how I do it. I'm curious on how other people get it done. They probably do it something similar or they've uh, a higher end model, it's got to be the higher end, um, are, uh, they've got wheels or something. You can just, you know, wheel it right up to your truck. I think I'm good there. Let's see. Come on, baby. Hey, you two, give a push on the jack, would you? There we go. We are mated. I'm gonna jack it up a little bit more, get it in. It's at a little bit of an angle, so I wanna get this up a little higher. So it'll go in nice and smooth. Just like that. Bam. Lock my pin in. As soon as I cut that zip tie. So we don't, we've had a little bit of snow out here already. Uh, nothing enough to stick or accumulate, but it's coming. Some places are already getting snow this weekend. I got snow yesterday. Uh, we had a a little bit of snow come in, but um, it wasn't enough to stick. It was just some flurries. Good, folks. Put the safety pin or cutter pin in. That was cool. All right. So it's now connected to the truck. I put the pin in to lock it in, and then I put this cotter pin in. The reason I said that was cool is because I put the cotter pin in and it sprung back up. Uh, got a little bit more to do, so let's get to it. And the, the wire harness is underneath the truck 
and I will be connecting that a little bit later at my house. Um, right now I've got something to go do. My son's going to a birthday party and uh, dad needs to take him to the birthday party. So it's somewhere out here in, in the city that I live in for one of his classmates. So this sucker just sits right there on the tailgate. These help secure it to the truck itself, keep it from wobbling. We are almost to go for winter. I gotta take this all off again later on tonight. Today is just to see how things are working. And I'd say they are. So why don't we transition to my house where I finished this installation. All right, so this is a, a, a light that I got. Uh, I think it's an echo light. It could be a Western light. Um, I'm able to control that from inside the, uh, the truck bed or inside the truck cab. Um, I forget how many pounds this, thing's, this thing holds. There's, there'll be a link in the description. This is a Western 2500. So, but I'm pretty sure it's not holding 2500 pounds of, of ice melt. I've got some ice melt back here. I, uh, you know what? I'll have to show a different video. It's premium lightning ice melt. It's uh, endothermic and exothermic. So one of those means that it creates heat. The other one means that it lowers the freezing temperature. Um, yeah, it lowers. The freezing temperature of water so it's got to be colder for the wa colder than 32 degrees for the water let's say on a driveway to uh, to refreeze to freeze over so instead of 32 degrees it may not freeze until 15 degrees which helps prevent ice and uh, the slippery conditions from building up well this video is going a little bit long we're gonna uh, get this thing uh, plugged in with the the harnesses later on i'm gonna get my boy to his birthday party and uh we'll see how it goes stay tuned all right yard people so we've transitioned it's a few hours later i'm at my house so i've got some lighting set up for underneath the truck that's where my harnesses are so let's go look at what i need to do because i have to hook up the snow plow uh i'm gonna have to connect well this to the truck and then I've got a camera right here that I also need to uh, hook up so my harnesses have been zip tied underneath here for the year so let's look under here and see what we've got all right so this I've got zip tied to the truck this is what's going to plug into the uh, salt spreader and then this harness here, which I've got also zip tied, is going to be uh, plugged into the camera. And the camera, I'm able to view from inside. I've got a small little screen. Uh, you might have seen the video from last year. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this. I'm going to get these zip ties uh, cut. And then I'm going to route, just by pushing through, I'm going to route. Let me show you. I'm going to route the harness so you can see it right here. I'm going to route it through here and then uh, I'll get the harnesses ready and then we'll connect it, put power to it, and we'll troubleshoot it. And uh, then we'll close up the video. So I hope you all are liking some of this. Oh, sorry about the light. Hope you all are liking some of this um, kind of step by step stuff. Uh, it's fun making the videos um it's it does take work so i hope somebody's appreciating this give me a thumbs up thanks all right yard people so i've got the uh uh 
the harness is connected. Now, normally I would zip tie these. Look, I got the got the yard dogs in here, and there's yard mama's legs. So there's yard dog one, yard dog two. They are little killers. Look at them. All right, so back to back to what I'm doing here. So I've routed the harnesses through. And normally I would have these zip tied up, but I'm not gonna keep this on tonight. I'm just troubleshooting it. I'm just turning things on, seeing that things are working okay. So I've got everything connected. I have not turned it on inside the cab yet. So let's do that. <sighs> okay. So I've hooked up the camera. Let's try a power button. I guess it's one of these. Um, oh, I guess it helps if I have the power. All right, so this will turn on the back light. Hopefully that's on, and that's supposed to turn on the, maybe I have to have the engine running. We'll see here. Just kind of going through this. I could have troubleshot it already and then turned it on and said, look, everybody, it's working. But, uh, okay, so the, well, the back light's on. So that gives me uh, extra brightness, uh, especially for when I'm backing up. And the camera, the reason I've got a camera set up is because my rear facing camera currently is uh, in the tailgate right there, one of these. And the salt spreader uh, blocks it. So I've got this camera right here and we'll hopefully be able to see that from inside the vehicle and i'm gonna have to turn the radio off or i'm gonna get dinged because uh, i'm sure it's on a rock and roll station and uh, it's a copyright all right okay well i heard it it works um it's got a little residual salt in there from me not cleaning it out well enough okay I've got let's turn that off I've got I think power to the camera I just I'm not sure how to turn it on oh power button there I guess that helps all right come on let's go let's see Let's get power. I don't. I don't know. Well, all right. We'll mess with the camera a little bit later. Let's turn that all the way down. Okay. So I've got. You can see I can adjust. Let me make sure you can see this. I'm just trying to set the light up so you can see it well enough. Boy, I need three hands. Okay, so I turn, man. So I turn this dial and that makes it go faster, slower. I can hear it back there. All right, so let's go back here and take a look. All right. I made a mess. Okay, looks like we, we have some motion, which is good. So let's turn it up and see what happens. You know what would help is if I have the camera be blinded, not really. Be, you know what? This tamper looks perfect. There we go, see the tamper? We're gonna set the tamper up. Put the camera on the tamper. Move the lights to here. Boy, isn't this a pro setup? <laughs> Me with my lights and stuff. All right, I'm gonna just crank it up so you can see it go faster. I'd say it's working. So that's good. The, 
reverse light is working. I just don't have the camera going. All right, well, what I need to do now is figure out why I don't have power to that camera. And I don't think I'm gonna do that on video. I think we're just gonna call this one not complete with the camera. I don't remember how I, it's been a year folks, sorry. I know the lighting's even bad. Let me deal with this another time. Um, I could have sworn though, it wasn't difficult to do. I bet you, you know what? It helps if you plug in Sorry, it helps if you plug in the power to the camera, which I'm doing now. Bam, right there. Okay, so I've got this set up here, and this is what plugs in the, this is the, uh, this little adapter is just so I can have additional things plugged in. So this is the camera power. So I've got the camera working now. And if I were to turn this light on, it makes it real bright back there. But now I can, now I've got a reverse camera. So when I'm backing up, repeatedly doing snow plowing, I can see where I'm going. I don't really wanna, I don't wanna be hitting anything or anybody. That's it for the video. Um, I'd say I'm ready to go for salt spreading and plowing. If y'all would do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Ask any questions that you might have down below. Uh, you can shoot me a, uh, a text. And uh, if you're a client of mine and you have questions, go ahead and ask. Or if you uh, want to be a client, feel free to check out more of my videos. And you can also check out my website. You can see the different services that we offer. That's it. I know the hair's looking a mess. Y'all take care. Stay cool. Give me that thumbs up. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for sticking with me till the end.